On January 31st, Elon started buying shares of Twitter. He started discussing on Twitter on how the platform works and how Twitter can change by giving importance to free speech. After buying for months on April, Elon publicly disclosed a 9.2% stake in the company. The next day, Twitter announced that Elon would join the board. Elon tweeted that he was looking forward to work with the company to solve the issues. At first, it was friendly, and then tensions emerged between the two sides. Elon still was criticizing the platform. Parag Agarwal, the Twitter CEO, texted Elon that his, t- that his tweets are not helping the company to improve. To which Elon replied that he won't join the board and it is a waste of time and he wanted to buy Twitter. And then he officially announced his $43 billion bid to buy Twitter. The $43 billion was later revised to $44 billion. In an interview that day, he spoke about his decision. Elon said, My strong intuitive sense is that having a public platform that is maximally trusted and broadly inclusive is extremely important to the future of the civilization. On April 25th, Elon and Twitter officially reached an agreement. But suddenly, Elon announced that the deal to take Twitter private is temporarily on hold as he was waiting for information from Twitter on the number of spam accounts on the site. And then Elon expressed interest in a lower price for the company by saying, you can't pay the same price for something that is much worse than they claimed. Twitter CEO then then tweeted that the company has less than 5% of reported monetizable daily active users or spam accounts. Elon's reply to this was, Elon started to push himself away from the deal. At the beginning of July, Elon tried to call the whole thing off. Four days later, Twitter sued Elon to close the deal. Elon filed a countersuit on Twitter. Both were preparing to fight in court. At the same time, a former Twitter employee filed a whistleblower complaint against Twitter, alleging Twitter doesn't properly count spam accounts. Elon took advantage of the situation and persuaded to call the agreement off. After Elon tried for months to uh, go away from the deal, he changed his mind and on 3rd October, he wanted to close the deal on original terms. Then he finally took over Twitter on 27th October and he fired the CEO Parag Agarwal, CFO Ned Segal and Legal Affairs and Policy Chief Vijaya Gadde. After the takeover, Elon stated that he didn't buy Twitter to make more money but he purchased Twitter to help humanity. When he entered the Twitter headquarters, he took a sync with him and finally tweeted, let that sink in. And he also changed his Twitter bio to Chief Twit and his location to Twitter headquarters. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video and subscribe to the channel.